YouTube, it's your boy Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video. Alright, y'all already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the vibes, comment down below, hit that bell, and subscribe. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Alright, so let's get into it. But real quick, before we get into it, big shout out to all my female gamers, all my gamer girls. If you a gamer girl and you subscribe to my channel, go and comment down below and make yourself known, man. I'm sitting here on Twitch. And Facebook, watching some of y'all game, man. And these girls, fellas, it's, it's, it's state, man. They kicking our tails, bro. Like, y'all y'all serious with it, man. So, shine the light. Hats off to y'all. Y'all go in, bro. All right. So, this is what I did, y'all. I know I didn't upload yesterday. I had to sacrifice. Because I've been getting a lot of people in Discord saying, Hey, man, I was new to mine. I did everything I was supposed to do. <clears throat> And for some reason, when I put my mods in and I try to start the game, it crashes every single time on load up. All right, cool. So this right now, I know I mentioned something in one of my last videos about it. But type of person I am, I really want y'all to succeed. So I decided to uninstall my game and reinstall it so y'all can get a hands-on tutorial on how to properly start modding in 2021. All right? Now, there's a few things we're going to need, so y'all follow along with me, and let's get started. So, first thing I want y'all to do, this is brand new, fresh off the boat, just got a PC, you want to start mod. This is the video you send to everybody who wants to start mod. I'm going to do it right for y'all, so let's go to our internet. First thing we're going to type in is open IV download. Boom enter all right all right this is what we're looking for open iv the ultimate mind tool go ahead and click on that joint all right you will see a page like this what you want to do is come right here to the green download now make sure it's 4.0 which it should be um and boom let's go ahead and download that that's one thing all right once that's downloaded what we're gonna do next come right back up here and we're going to type in WinRAR. Now, a lot of people use WinZip also. I happen to use WinRAR. Less ads. You know what I'm saying? I just, I mean, that's just what I started with. That's, you know, I'm just used to it. So, the website is rarlab.com. Go ahead and click here. And don't worry, guys. I will be leaving links to everything in the video in the description, son. All right. Which one do I need? 32-bit or 64-bit? I'm going to show you guys how to find out, okay? So first thing we're going to do is come down here to our start button or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go into settings right here. All right, let's go to system. Then we're going to go down to about. All right. And did I click it any day now? All right, <clears throat> we have so let's see, these are my specs right now, guys. I know I'm definitely going to be upgrading my graphics card, my process, all that good stuff. But system type, this right here is which one to pay attention to system type 64 bit operating system, x64 based processor, right? So if it says 32, you want to download 32. If your system type is 32 bit x32 base processor you download 32 but in this case most pcs nowadays are going to be 64 bit right so now that we got that information let's hop back over to here and we're going to download winrar x64 the 64 bit giant at the very top all right boom we got two things downloaded right now while we still in on the internet i want everybody to type in script hook just like that just type in script hook the website we are looking for is from dev c.com dev c that's what we're looking for guys all right so let's go ahead and click on that of course by ab software development now what we want to do 
is make sure now okay so I'm, I'm just show you real quick if y'all just type in the website www.dev-c.com this is what you'll see if you see this come on over to gta 5 right here and then we're gonna go to script hook v right here at the very top boom and we'll come right back to this page all right the latest release was february 12 2021 okay so come right down here to download and hit that download so far we got three teams we got three teams set up bumba clot teams we got uh the open for the winrar and script hook v all right next what we want to do is we want to go to i'm trying to make sure i'm not missing anything we want to go ahead and go to gta5 hyphen mods.com all right this is what you'll see right here gta5 hyphen mods.com and what you'll see is green you'll see some green get in between the green all right what we want to do is come over here to the search bar click on that jank and we want to type in script hook again no spaces enter and what we're looking for is this right here um what do you call this like a view of the city it's gonna say community script hook v dot net that's what we're looking for guys so let's click on that uh the latest version is 3.1.0 all right newbies don't hit download right here just just you know just try to get in the habit of not hitting this download button but scroll down a little bit further till you see all versions now for this sake or, or or in this case we only have one but sometimes you may download a mod and it may have like several of these always pick the one that says current all right current is what you want to go for current always click current right when you see the one that says current you come right here to this arrow right here hit download come on oh my bad i'm tripping it's gonna bring you right here to another page on github.com all right what we want to do is look for the latest version which is v3.1.0 all right we want to either scroll uh no chill 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 so we either want to scroll down a little bit until we see this but the easiest thing just go ahead and click on this it isolates that single download so now when you scroll down this is all you see we want to click on scripthookv.net.zip this is going to be the only thing that has uh size next to it which is 886 kilobytes go ahead and click on that jank boom right next we're gonna get one more thing from uh gta5mods.com so let's go back to gta5mods.com go right here to the search bar and type in simple trainer simple trainer just like that all right what we're looking for is this one right here simple trainer for gta5 and I know everybody's thinking this in their head, so I'm going to say it. This looks like GoldenEye 007. I don't know why that GoldenEye 007 is the first thing to pop up in my head when you see this. But come on, tell me I'm not the only person that was thinking that. I know I'm not the only person. Come on now. Y'all remember the Golden Gun? X60, I mean, uh, Nintendo 64. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever. All right, like I said, don't hit this download. Scroll down. And you see a whole bunch of them, right? Basically, what this is is, dang, goodness gracious. Anyway, start it here, and every time they do an update, they put out another one and another one. We never want to click on any of these. Always go to current, right? Always go to current, current right there. So the current one is twelve point eight. Go ahead and hit that download right there. And because y'all be mind crazy, and I really recommend this, I really recommend y'all have two trainers, simple trainer and menu. So let's come right here to uh, the search bar again. We're going to type in menu, M-E-N-Y-O-O. -O. Men who? Menu. Right here, son. Menu, PC, single player, trainer mod. Look like a bunch of throw up. I feel like I just did a video on this. 
don't know. But anyway, I, you know, I just want to be more in depth with this this time because there is a difference. All right. Current right here, of course. There is a difference. So it's going to bring us to GitHub. We're going to always get the one on top. The, the, the latest one, menu PCV 1.4.0. Come down to the zip right here. 4.97 megabytes. And hit that download on the zip. All right, guys. If you follow my video, we have one, two, three, four, five, six files downloaded. Let's go ahead and minimize the internet. And let me ask y'all a question. Are y'all ready to start modding? All right, let's do it then. I'm going to come down here to this folder. I'm going to right click on this folder. And I'm going to open up my downloads right here. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, now, I, I'm going to just center this because I like to have a nice and neat workspace, work area. All right. Now, I'm going to show you all how to find your Grand Theft Auto directory. What your Grand Theft Auto directory is, is basically the folder that contains all the files for Grand Theft Auto. So, let's go ahead and click on our start button right here. Now, what we want to do is come to documents. Now, most people download their game in Windows C. This is the C drive. This is the hard drive, the first hard drive, Windows C. You click on that, and you should see Steam apps because or 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 Epic. If you're on Epic, you'll see Epic. Okay, I downloaded mine into the D drive, so I'm gonna click here. I see Steam or Epic now. I don't know the epic path, but I know it's like way easier than Steam to get to. Just click on the epic and you'll click on GTA. But if you're on Steam, this is how you get to it, which I recommend Steam. I know Epic gives you a free game, but whatever, man. It's all good. They both work the same. Ain't no ain't no better, no worse. So just click on Steam. Double click. We're gonna scroll down to Steam Apps. Double click. We're gonna come to common. And double click we're gonna see Grand Theft Auto right here now let's go we, now ho, ho, do I right click let's see now let's go ahead and double click on this joint this is your main GTA directory this is what you'll see you'll see a x64 a through x64 W you'll see all this stuff right here this is pretty much all you'll see right Nice clean work area, remember? Let's move this over here. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. First thing I want you guys to do is memorize this. Oh shoot, what did I do? Anyway, go back, click on that. All right, memorize this, this PC, new volume D, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto V. This is, your, this is the path to your main GTA directory. All right, now what I would suggest is clicking on this, Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, come on, let's do it, let's do it. Right click on Grand Theft Auto V, right here, just, just, the, just the whole folder. Before you open it, let's right click on it, and pin to quick access. Make sure you pin this to quick access, because y'all gonna be in and out of this folder like nobody's business. And what pinning to quick access does, for those who don't know, it just puts it over here on the side. So boom, Grand Theft Auto V is right here with the thumbtack. It will always stay there so you don't have to go searching for it later, right? All right. So now that we got this open, first thing we're going to do is right click on an empty space. Now, I like to call this my drop space. If I click, nothing highlights, right? Now, if I click here, this is highlighted. This is highlighted. No, we don't want to drop anything here. Come over here to an empty space. We call that the drop space. I want you to right click in your drop space, go to new, go to folder, and we're gonna name this folder mods. It can be lowercase, that's cool, just M-O-D-S, mods, boom, right? Now, what I want you guys to do is scroll, let's see, you're gonna see update and X64. Cl uh, left click on update, then I want you to hold control, while holding control, also left click on x64 now let control go 
Because what happens if you, because I'm going to have you guys scroll down. But what happens when you hold control and scroll down? You change the size. See that? Changing the size. We want to leave it like that. So once you have these two highlighted, let control go. I need you to scroll down to X64E. Before you click it, hold control, click it. And what that does is by holding control, it lets you click multiple files in different spaces, right? All right, let's get X64E. If you want to my close, hold control and let's get X64W. Mm, that's pretty much all I do. X64V is for close. X64E is for cars. All right. Once we got X64W.RPF highlighted, X64E.RPF highlighted, X64 and update, I want you to right click on all of that. Hit copy. Double click on your mods folder. Left click. Once we're inside the mods folder, right click and paste. That's a lot of information, guys. So that's 192 giants. All right, so we can minimize that and let it work in the background. Let's go ahead and go back one. Now this is, now this is a tutorial, so y'all just sit tight. I'm going to get y'all through it, but I'm going to get y'all through it the right way, right? All right, I want you to come back to your empty drop space. I want you to right click. We're going to hit new, folder. We're going to hit scripts. S-C-R-I-P-T-S. And we're going to leave that alone for right now. <clears throat> but what the scripts folder is, is, of course, you watch my video like the LS mod. This is where you would put in scripts to allow you to do certain things in the game, right? So we got the mods folder, we got the scripts folder, and we got certain files that is uploading into our mods folder. Boom. While that's doing that, let's go ahead and minimize the Grand Theft Auto directory right here. All right, let's go ahead and start setting up this stuff right here. First thing we're gonna set up is Open 4. This is your modding Bible. This is a, without Open 4, it's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead and left click on Open 4. English, of course, unless you're Russian. Gonna go ahead and accept, continue, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it after the installation. So, excuse me, I had Burger King if I got on here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it after installation. Go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna ask me download size 19.8 megabytes. Do you want to continue? Hit yasm. Yasm, not yes, but yasm. All right, once that is done, it's installing. It's installing. And boom, you, did you guys see a pop-up down here? Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead and hit close. And it should be popping up here. There it is right there. So I'm going to show you. Every time you try to open up Open 4, this is what it's going to look like. Um, we are on PC, Grand Theft Auto 5, so we always want to hit Windows. Not Xbox 360, not PS3, not PS4, but always Windows. So for those who think, no, you cannot mod on consoles, period. There is a way to do it, but you will have to break down a console and put a GPU in it and, and, and a CPU. In it. Like, I've seen it done, but they basically gut the console and put PC parts in it. That's the only way you're going to mod. But anyway, Grand Theft Auto V, Windows, click that joint. All right, choose Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. This is very important. It has to be the Grand Theft Auto directory we just went over. So let's hit browse. All right. We are going to go to, we're on Steam. Da, 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 da. That's the path that we're on. Let's just, uh, all right. So I'm going I'm to just start all over because this is pretty much, all right. So D, that's the, 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 the drive that we started in or that we installed Grand Theft Auto in. Steam. Steam apps. Common, grant that photo V. We're going to just click that, not open it, but just click it and hit select folder. All right, and then it's going to say successfully. It's going to pop up green like, yes, that's it. We recognize this joint. Then go ahead and hit continue. Don't forget to back up your original files before editing. I will drop a video on how to back up your files before editing, like individually. 
that's like you know the best way I like to do it. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. So don't worry about this right now. Just hit continue. Trust me, your boy got you. I got y'all. I got a video coming for that. All right, searching encryption key. And as we're doing this, y'all see right down here, it's copying all that stuff to the mods folder. So by the time we're done, we're gonna be ready to move forward. Oh yes, get you something to drink because this is gonna be a doozy. All right, we are up. All right, newbies, before you start modding, always hit edit mode. You will always get this uh, warning. Always hit yes every single time. All right, it's going to say install plugin for GTA 5 ASI Manager. You want to click that. You want to click all of them. All of them. All of them. All of them green. Go ahead and hit close. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so we can go ahead and exit out of that now. It's pretty much ready for us to start modding whenever uh, our stuff is finished being installed. So let's check on that. We are on 51%. So let's minimize this and let it keep working in the background. All right, let's pull up our downloads folder again. Next, we are going to install WinRAR. Double click on WinRAR. I'm going to put in my password so y'all just close your eyes real quick. Oh, y'all can't see it no way. All right, we want to go ahead and hit install. Make sure you install it wherever you want to install it. It's installing to the D drive, that's cool. Install, extracting, go ahead and hit OK. Uh, boom. And thank you for using WinRAR. Done. That's pretty much it. All right, this pops up every time. Uh, we can go ahead and just exit out of that joint. Next. All this other stuff right here, script hook v, script hook v.net, and the simple trainer and the menu trainer. We need this to finish up down here before we can use that. So I'm gonna just give y'all some time, y'all hang tight, and I'm gonna finish letting this download. So be right back, guys. All right, guys. So once your folder is done downloading, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that mods folder. You should see the update, X64, and the two RPS that we downloaded or copied over. Cool. All right, let's go back. All right, now it is time to do what we need to do to make the mods work. All right, first thing we're going to do is open up script hook V right here, the script hook V, not the script hook V.net. We're going to start from the bottom up, script hook V. All right, what we're going to see inside of this is a bin folder. Let's go ahead and open up bin. We're going to get two files out of here, okay? We're going to click on script hook v.dll. Now we're going to hold control because we want to skip over native trainer. The reason why we're skipping over native trainer is because we have a better trainer. We have simple trainer, and we also have menu. But those two together, native trainer is gum on the bottom of your shoe. I promise. All right, so when we click on script hook v.dll, we're going to hold control and we're going to hit then put 8.dll. Once we have those two selected, we you, you can let go of control. We're going to grab these two, bring them over to a empty space, very important because if you drop it right here, it's going to go inside of this folder and we don't need it in there. We need it over here in the open space, guys. This is extremely important. For all my newer modders, make sure you're not hitting anything. Big open space, okay? And release. Now, you're going to get this message because you have an original input 8.dll. Go ahead and replace. Now, if you need to stretch this out some so that you do have some drop space, please do so. Because that is a very important part. If you, if you just bring them in here and drop them and leave... You you know you gonna you you know you may accidentally drop it inside of another folder, and if it's not out here in a directory, it will it will not work, guys. It will not work. All right. Now once we have those two files in, boom, that's two files. We need seven. So boom boom, these are two. All right, let's exit out of that. We're gonna open up script hook v dot net. All right, let's go ahead and open that up. We're gonna see a whole bunch of files. 
all right I want you to look at the XML file we are not getting any XML files we're only getting DLL DLL and ASI so we're gonna skip one get that one skip one get that one so this is what we're gonna do go ahead and click on script hook v dot net three dot DLL hold control skip over the next one and come to script hook v dot net two dot DLL select that still holding control skip over the next one to script hook v dot net dot ASI boom alright so now we have three selected got it skip it got it skip it got it skip it all right make sure it is script hook v.net dot asi script hook v.net two dot dll and script hook v.net three dot dll take those drag them over here to a empty space way over here and release boom all right that's five we just did three two on the other one we need two more so let's exit out of that all right let's open up simple trainer simple trainer boom all right simple trainer all we need is the bottom two files trainer v dot i and i or any as some say and trainer v dot asi so we don't we, we don't need control just scroll grab this jank Bring it over here. Like SpongeBob say, bring it around town. Empty space and release. Boom, that's seven. That is all you need. If, 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 if we go in the game right now, we can pull up a mod menu and we can start doing our thing right now. So give yourself a round of applause for sticking with me so far and successfully becoming a modder or being able to mod. Now, let's not forget about menu real quick. This is just an option, I think. This will help you guys out a lot, especially if you're into the cars. All we need to do is grab menu stuff. We're going to left click on that, hold control. We're going to come down to menu.asi, left click on that, and let control go. So we got these two selected and drag them over there in the empty space. Be careful not to drop them over here. Drag them over here in the empty space and release. <sighs> sinuses boy all right that's guys that's it that's 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 pretty much it that is it all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the game and show y'all what it's gonna look like um now why did we have to download open for Deshaun? that's the question all right these are my cars these are my downloads right so this is what I want y'all to do. This is the main GTA 5 directory. I want you guys first and foremost, and this is the, the way to add on add on cars, okay? I don't even know why I'm telling y'all because I'm going to link a video, but you know I like to be very thorough with my people. So I'm going to click on Mods, Updates, X64, and I'm going to right click on DLC Packs. And I'm going to click right on it and hit Pin to Quick Access. Make sure we pin our DLC packs folder to quick access so we can find it because we're going to be using it like a mug. All right, let's go ahead and open it up our DLC packs. All right, I'm going to put all of these cars in here. All of them. All of them. All right. Uh, right click. I'm going to put all these joints in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five cars. I'm going to drag them all over here to my DLC packs in the open space. Release. And boom they're there now I don't need the downloads folder anymore all right Deshaun please explain to us what we are missing how do we use open for let's open it up why don't we windows yeah this is a long one. this is my longest video man but I need to be very thorough with y'all I need to talk slow I want to make sure y'all grasp this because People seem like they be having a fit catching attitudes when they got to keep explaining it over and over. But if you just do the video properly, you won't. But anyway, remember, always hit edit mode. Boom. Let me get this resized. Nice, clean work area. Boom. And boom. So, guys, I'm going to throw these in real quick by going to mods, update. 
update.rpf common data and once I'm here I'm gonna to go to favorites add to favorites and I'm gonna name this path cars because this is where you will go to do add-on cars every single time so hit add all right scroll down find DLC list.xml right click hit edit say that slow come down to DLC list.xml we're gonna right click and hit edit all right we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're going to put in the name so this is how you do it go to the very last line highlight the last line copy we know we're gonna put in one two three four five cars so come to the end of that line hit enter paste that's one enter paste two enter paste three four five one two three four five cool now come to that second one we did highlight it left click left click again right click copy come up here right click and paste boom my f450 is in the game next gonna highlight that joint come down to our second car 70 cut 30s left click left click again right click copy you just basically want to copy the name into the item lines make new item lines copy the names in there exactly how they are in the folder so watch me wake watch me wake boom copy right click paste highlight boom right click copy and paste and one more 96 Impala right click copy uh, and right click and paste and when we're done we're gonna hit save all right I'm gonna just minimize this since we'll be right back open up Steam normally this is the part where I'll be like hey y'all I'll be right back but nope I want y'all to see everything as it happens okay come on I don't know why I feel the need to apologize for the long video but you know I love to be thorough love to be thorough man come on steam come on come on steam come on slow ass steam slow ass all right let's go ahead and hit grant that photo and hit play boom and watch what happens All right, let's break some glass. I said let's break some glass. All right, fine. Take your precious time. Take your precious freaking time. That's crazy, yo. It would have been started up now, like by now. Like, I don't know why it's loop-de-looping. -loop okay, we got action here. There's the glass. All right, you put your cars in. You think you're gonna play on the game. You brand new and modern. This is the issue tons and tons and tons of people have. And they, I kid you not, these past two days, I've helped out 43 people. 43. I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself. 43 people, man. 43 people. And I successfully got all 43 of them mine, whether they were having issues with LS Life or, but the main one was this right here. They load in story mode and the game just crashed. So let's see what happens. And guys, hit me up with the with the with the donations in the Discord. Forty three people and ain't nobody tip me, bro. I love to do this, but tip your boy, man. And hey, 
this is what happens. This, y'all saw it live. Y'all saw it live. Y'all just seen it live. This is what everybody go through. And then they be like, yo, something's wrong. It didn't work. Well, guys, I'm finna show you exactly why it's doing that. All right. Let's open up Open 4 one more time. All right. In the DLC list.xml, let's right click on that. Hold on, let me hit edit mode first. Y'all can tell I'm sleepy by my voice. Edit mode. <clears throat> we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the whole item line for patch day 24 in G. We're gonna scroll up and get MP Heist 4. We're gonna scroll up some more and get patch day 23. Excuse me. We're going to delete those. So just hit backspace, backspace. Don't don't hold backspace, backspace, backspace. You just want to close that gap, right? And let's go ahead and delete MP Heist 3 as well. Oh, the whole item line for MP Heist 3. Backspace, 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 and backspace. So we just delete it. Patch day 23, patch day 24, MP Heist 3, and MP Heist 4. Let's hit save. Exit out. And let's hit play one more time. And I'm going to let y'all see this all the way live. All the way live. Now, let me say this. Like I said in my other video, I see a lot of YouTubers out there telling people to delete everything in their DLC packs folder. Here's why this is a bad idea right so let's say you guys wanted to change the sounds in your weapons let's say you wanted to enhance how your gun sound let's say you wanted to add more guns in the game and all that good stuff if you delete everything out of your um dlc packs you won't be able to do that because you need patch date eight in order to do that you need certain patch dates like for example you want to put rims in you need mp beach if i'm not mistaken so only delete the ones i just showed you patch day uh 23 patch day 24 mp heist 3 and mp heist 4 only delete those four if any more updates come about i promise y'all i'm gonna let y'all know but i'm letting y'all see this live y'all saw we just tried to go into the game and it crashed on us faster than I can't even think of a metaphor right now because I'm so sleepy. But I'm going to let y'all see this live, man. We're getting ready to get up in this game. We're going to pull these cars out. And this is pretty much the 2021 version of how to start modding for GTA 5. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at this? Somebody come look at this. Ooh, wait. Yeah. Auto save. All right. The mod menu. Send me out. Come on, bro. Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. <sighs> Liquidity is a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. All right. So, if you are playing with the keyboard and mouse, you want to hit F3. F3 is going to bring this menu up, and you scroll down by hitting, um, make sure your number lock is on. So when number lock is on, 2 goes down, 8 goes up, 5 selects, uh, 6 goes right, and 4 goes left. So 2, 4, 6, 8 is how to navigate, and 5 is to select, okay? All right, if you're playing with a controller, which me personally, I have an Xbox controller, right button and X at the same time brings up the mod menu. Get your ball head or something. Okay, how to bring up menu. With the keyboard, it is F. Okay, I just tra teleported somewhere else. I think that was F9. So... Is it F? Is it F8? Let me see. All right. So with the controller, right button and left on the D-pad opens up menu. Okay. 
You can do stuff like player options, wardrobe, uh, torso. Let's change our clothes. Let's change our clues. Take your shirt off, cuz. Show the muscles. Texture. Yeah, we ain't got no other texture. Legs. All that good stuff like that right there. But with Simple Trainer, with, why I like Simple Trainer so much, it's more in detail, like model spawning, clothes menu, and you can do, you know, just it's, it's just all right here. You know what I'm saying? You can go left. Instead of clicking on additional, you know what I'm saying, options, just, just, just hold left. If you see something that you want to flip through the, you know, different flavors, tap A. Tap A to flip through the flavors. Left and right to go to the next joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, how do I get out of here? Let me teleport back. Teleport. Uh, uh, let me teleport to the beach resort, I guess. Alright, so I teleported to the beach resort. Alright, cool. So, that's some of the things that you can do, guys. One thing, if you're a newbie, change the weather, man. Like, make it thunderstorm. Make it snow. Make it Christmas. Make it a blizzard. Have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, extra sunny. But, yeah, man. Y'all have fun with this, man. And understand, if you follow this video to the T, I promise you, you will be modding in no time. You won't have any issues. My ways are foolproof. Did he have two different damn shoes on? But anyway, my way is foolproof, man. Like, no cap, like, no hate or disrespect to nobody else. But this is something that I found out. I don't want to hide it. I want to share it with everybody because I want you guys to start modding and have fun and not have tons of questions and have to rely on people who don't really want to help y'all. So, if y'all found this video helpful, hit that sub button. Smash that sub button, kick the sub button, punch the hell out of it if you got to. Keep sharing this video, share this video. If you know anybody who wants to start modding, it is a long video, but it is very detailed. Just share this video, copy the link, send it to them, and I promise you, this joint right here, I promise you, you won't have no issues out of it, man. So other than that, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Keep running them numbers up. We headed to 400 subs. That dude finna beat my ass, so let me run up these steps. But anyway, we headed up to 400 subs. After that, 6, then 8, then, then, then 12. Alright, so y'all keep running them numbers up, man. And keep hitting me up in Discord if y'all need help. Everybody who rock with me know I will help y'all. I do work, but I promise y'all, I help everybody. I respond to everybody. I respond to every comment. So y'all keep doing y'all thing. Keep rocking with your boy. I'm going to keep kicking y'all that flavor. Oh, let's, I'm sorry. How can I forget my cars? Let me show y'all some of the cars for the newbies. Yes, sir. Let me cut off the radio before we get copyrighted real quick. Vehicle options. Radio. Radio off. All right. For anybody asking, this this vehicle had blood, sweat, and tears and poured into it. So this vehicle is not free. This one is for sale. Uh, what else is not free? I'll show you guys. Cause from time to time, I like to drop y'all free whips into my Discord, which I'm about to put Corey's charger from uh, you know Corey Pritchard. I'm about to put his charger in my Discord this week sometime. Uh, my '96 Impala. It's for sale. Not for free. My Monte Carlo SS. It's for sale. Not for free. These are some of the best cars you're going to ever see in the game. And this joint right here is not free. It is definitely for sale. Other than that, anything I get, I like to share it with my fam. I, I, what do y'all think about the Mod Squad? What, if, what, what do y'all think about me calling y'all the Mod Squad? I was, you know, recommended that by uh, Jaden, J Money. 
So y'all comment down below tell me what y'all think about the Mod Squad because I need a name for y'all. Other than that, man, I am O-U-T. Keep running them numbers up, y'all. I'm gone.